Hello everybody and welcome to Los Cristianos Beachfront. What an absolutely gorgeous day we've got today. Absolutely stunning. Just You just know Dean and I are going home. You just know it because there's not a cloud in the sky. So hello everyone who's already tuned in. Hi Cat and Dean, that's Susan. Andy, hi Cat and Dean. Keep up the great content to watch from cold Glasgow. Oh, we'll be back in the UK tomorrow, don't you worry, back in the cold. And Smilers, hi from New Zealand, great to have you on the stream. Good afternoon everyone, it is a gorgeous day over here, absolutely gorgeous. You've got the, uh, the Viking ship coming in over there, you've got people coming out to do their kayaking just here. Afternoon all in the chat, hope you're all well, wherever you are. Hi Captain Dean, everyone saying hello to us Dean. It's our last day, isn't it? Sad times, going home at about quarter to seven. Back to Liverpool and obviously the sunshine has come out. Of course it has. So we thought that we would, we're gonna go for some lunch on Golden Mile, meet Andrew, but we thought that we would walk there. One last time, one last walk along the beachfront. Uh, so we thought, why not take you guys along with us? And yeah enjoy enjoy the saturday atmosphere in Los Chris. it's absolutely stunning you just you just knew it was going to happen <laughs> you just knew as soon as our flight was approaching anyone else on the island could have guaranteed oh well the sun will be out for us because they're off <laughs> hi guys good afternoon you should go on the viking ship it's great no time now not got any time now do you know what it is on the list it is on the list. We haven't done a boat trip this time no. because we haven't really had the weather to, you know, when you're out at sea, it drops a little, even a little bit cooler. So if we were feeling a little bit cool on the island, we'd have been even colder out there. We'd have been there in leggings and a jumper. So yeah, we've not done a boat trip this time, purely for that reason. Uh, but if it had been like this a bit earlier in the week, we definitely would have considered it. 63 people tuned in. Thank you so much for spending some of your Saturday afternoon with us. Please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Enjoy your last day and have a great safe journey home. By the way, great to see you guys again. Thank you so much, Leslie. We are soaking it in whilst we still can. Not sure when we'll be back. So uh, enjoying it whilst we can. I'll turn you around so you can see the, the prom. Hi both, I'm there in September for two weeks, looking forward to popping in buddies. Tenerife is looking good. You are going to have a fantastic time. I hope you have a fabulous holiday in September. And uh, yeah, definitely do pop into buddies. It's a great little atmosphere in there, honestly. I think it's because there's so many of Andrew's striders in there and they all feel, they've all got something in common in that they watch the YouTube channel so it's almost like going in and meeting friends that you've never met before. Buddies. So the name Buddies is, it really is very apt. If it wasn't going to be Striders, Buddies fits just as, just as good because it is like meeting up with friends. You've, you, pretty much everyone in there has got Andrew in common, Andrew and Laura. So honestly, you'll have a fab time in there. Laura will make you some fantastic cocktails. You will have a great time. I'm not biased, I promise. <laughs> I'm genuinely I'm not like it, I, I would obviously give it a shout out no matter what but Dean and I have been in there most nights hi Kat and Dean enjoy your last day we come out next Saturday need to pay buddies vid visit as I just said you're gonna have a great time in buddies um, safe travels home Kat and Dean from Paul and Diane McFarlane in Scotland thank you so much Paul we do really appreciate it. Oh, we're just sad. We're sad to be getting... It, it, there's also the added layer of not just going home from holiday, but saying bye to Andrew and Laura as well. Um, that's like an extra twinge of sadness for me. Because you're always leaving. A little piece of your family behind every time we go. And it is, uh, it is always sad. I always have... Andrew is... It, he's my best friend, basically. He's so, he makes me laugh without fail every day. He gets on my nerves. Yesterday I was ready to put him through a wall. He was just irritating me. But uh, 
you know, sibling love and all that. Mick Garvey's in the chat, here we are. Morning, cat striders. Busy, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? Dean's shocked that you're up. <laughs> Everyone's saying good afternoon to Dad. Are you walking the beach to Vista Sur? So we are going to walk right down to Vista Sur and then cut up onto Golden Mile. Travel safely to Catherine. Thanks, Dad. See you, Dad, in about... How many hours till we're home? Um, it's about 12 hours, actually. 10, 10 and a half, 11. Oh, God. Is the heating on? Dean wants to know, Dad. Is that heating on? And if it's not, crank it up. <laughs> Dean, of course, he has got the added little dread as well. He's up 9 o'clock tomorrow morning on, on the start line of the Liverpool Half Marathon. Part of his training for his full marathon. I have left the link for his fundraisers, Just Given page is in the description of this video. If you would like to donate, he'd really, really appreciate it. He's raising money for Cats Protection, fantastic charity. We've rescued a cat from there. We've had so many messages of support already from people saying great cause. We've also had a cat from them. Uh, so yes, if you do want to donate him, support him, he's running 26.2 miles around London, same as he did last year. Uh, Mick Garvey, thank you, Ensmire. I couldn't possibly do any worse than what's going on now. I don't really know what you're talking about, Dad. Garvey for PM. Oh, what? We don't do politics. We don't do politics. <laughs> we Dad loves politics, but we don't discuss it on the channel. It's too much of a uh, polarising topic. Here we are then. So we're in the little... Um, Square, not far from the beach with the play area, you've got Tandoori Hut up over there. Another place we haven't quite made it to this trip. Just just hasn't it just time slips away. Hi Catherine and Dean, can't hear you very well as we're in the hairdresser. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me that the wind or something was playing up. There we are, mum's having a pamper day this Saturday. In the hairdressers. Hi Cat and Dean, coming to Tenerife on Tuesday. Sorry, gonna miss you both. Hope to see you next time from Julie and Rob. Definitely, Julie. I'm gutted that we're leaving too, don't worry. Uh, but given it looks like your uh, picture is a Man City icon, so I don't think we'd really be friends up until maybe the summer when that rivalry is put to bed. <laughs> Garvey for next Liverpool. Oh, God, no, we'd run us to the ground. Garvey for next Liverpool manager. No, absolutely not. He'd run us into the ground. 93 people tuned in. Thank you so much. If you do, please hit that like. Who's going to visit Laura Park to see the Coral Kingdom that was just opened yesterday? It's unique of its kind in the world. Now, sounds epic. What is it, the Coral Kingdom? It does sound very good, but uh, unfortunately, I just can't bring myself to visit Loro Park because of the controversy of the captive orcas. I just, I don't, I can't stand in support of it. So unfortunately, I choose not to visit Loro Park, each to their own, but just my preference, don't visit Loro Park. I don't visit SeaWorld in Florida. Just got hubby to turn the FA Cup off so we can watch him on TV. Thank you so much, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you so much. I bet yeah, Dean said, is he fuming? <laughs> is he fuming? That's a good compliment, that though, turning the FA Cup off for, uh, for me and Dean. So uh, Andrew likes to ask this question, so I'll ask it as well. If you were here, right now, you just click your fingers, you're on the island, where are you? What are you doing? It's 26 degrees. Liverpool manager, I think not. <laughs> It'd be like a uh, Gru from Minions, I think, Dad. Like, you know, like a little villain with an evil plot of getting us relegated. I'm just going to show everyone this, uh, this view over here. Look at that. That's why I don't go to SeaWorld Cat. Totally agree with you. Each, each to their own. It's just my personal thing. I just can't. I, I went when I was younger. I went with that when I was younger, didn't really know any better. And 
you know, I think we've come as a society so far with things like that. I just think the practice of having them in captivity is a little bit outdated, in, in my opinion. Um, on the beach, be there in two weeks, Catherine Cartwell. This is what's waiting for you, Elaine. This is what is waiting for you when you get here. Uh, probably having a one euro pint like a typical Brit. Might struggle to find one. They're all about 150, aren't they? Yeah, they've all gone up. Mum says it seems quiet. Mum, are you okay? This Lost Chris Beach. It's, I don't think you'd struggle to get a bed, I think, on Lost Chris Beach. It might not be rammed, but it's, uh, it's definitely got a buzz about it. Definitely got a buzz about it. Week tomorrow, 11 nights in Paloma Beach. Have a fantastic time. I'm so jealous. I'm going to have to stay clear of Andrew's channel, groups, everything for at least a month. Especially with me dad coming back in a couple of weeks. We had to suffer Agent Rafa at Goodison. <laughs> funny. Funny, funny. Yeah, I'm I think I'm just going to have to avoid the WhatsApp groups that include me dad. I might have to block Andrew because he's I already know. I'm going to get a text ne next week, lunchtime, sat in the staff room. After being in work from 7am, he'll text me and go, fancy a tailors or... Fancy a drinking buddies or uh, where are we going for a tea tonight? Vegas Grill and I'll just I'll just want to cry. So Andrew's probably getting blocked. Uh, Dad Dad will be getting blocked and I'll just have to And I'll have to boycott uh, Andrew's channel for a good while I think the jealousy will be too much. Jealousy will be too much. I would love to go to Alaska to see the killer whales in the wild where they should be. Eunice, honest to goodness. Oh yeah, do you know what? On our first day, we sat and watched these play this foot volleyball for a good half an hour. It was really good fun watching it, wasn't it, Dean? Yeah. Really good fun. Oh yeah, you've got to be fit to play it. It's volleyball, but you can't use your hands, essentially. Really good fun to watch. Like yeah, carnival setup going on. I tell you what, there's some party going on by that yeah, fairground yeah. last yeah. night. Well, yeah, because the parade's going to come yeah. through. Yeah, there must have been some party going on by that fairground last night. Because 2 a.m., the music was still going. They were really going for it. Could hear it from our uh, our bedroom. Yeah, with regards to seeing the wild orcas, Eunice, honestly, are we are we three attempts down and no luck or two? No, I th mm. think we I think we're hoping for third time lucky. We tried in Canada, Vancouver. Our trip got cancelled when we were 20 minutes into it because the sea was too rough. And they had seen the orcas the day previous. And for some reason, we were there the day previous. And I said to Dean, what day should we do the whale trip? And Dean was like, oh, Tuesday. And on the Monday, they saw the orcas. And on the Tuesday, the trip got cancelled. So definitely no orcas. Then we tried again in Iceland. Very similar story. Trip didn't get cancelled. We had a fabulous trip. We saw sperm whales, things like that. But uh, saw the orcas the day previous. No orcas the day Dean and I were on it. So... Uh, I've seen a whale you big, have to be so stuff. fit to play foot volleyball. I should know because I coach it. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Kat. Please, can you wish my wife Carol Bo Booth a happy 55th birthday, please? Carol, happy birthday from Tenerife. Have a fabulous day. If you can't be here, then make the most of it at home with your family. Go out, celebrate. It's Saturday. Great day to have a birthday. My birthday this year falls on a weekday, and I'll be in work. Mum saying don't forget to hit the thumbs up and help support Catherine's channel. Thanks, Mum. Mick, we are missing you and Lydia already. <laughs> Mick will be out here two weeks and you'll have him out here. The puppeteer is coming back. The puppeteer will be back. Oh, actually, last night in Vegas Grill, we had our last meal in Vegas Grill. The, the magician, the magician had a new trick involving a wooden puppet called Mario. It was a duck, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a duck. Much better than Sooty and Sweep, if you ask me. Much better than Sooty and Sweep. <laughs> Honestly. 
It was brilliant. So uh, I'm sure he's going to get that trick out for you, Dad, when you're over. Uh, if you ever see the orcas, they have, they are like a big black and white fish. Lol. <laughs> oh, they, they, it's top of my bucket list. Top of, if I could only choose one thing from my bucket list uh, to tick off, it would be wild orcas. <laughs> Wild orcas, 100%. I don't even need a fancy show. I mean, a fancy show would be good, you know, with them jumping or coming right up to the boat. But just seeing those dorsal fins upright, the way they should be, because in captivity they go lopsided because they lose the muscle mass from not swimming properly. Um, yeah, an upright six-foot dorsal fin poking out of the water and just being able to swim where they want when they want however far they want that's top of my bucket list sweep had his off this week he will be convalescing with with me in tenerife bought him an extra leg room on the flight out that puppet honest to god she's that puppet better than me lydia <laughs> lydia's not even coming to tenerife and sweep is on an extra extra leg room ticket Goodness sake. Let's get some out dried scamp in here. <laughs> you and how loves your swimming costume, Catherine. I'm not wearing a swimming costume. It's a uh, it's a little play suit and it's from Hollister. I think I'd cry if I saw them. Yep. Trying to convince my husband to take me on a Disney cruise to see them. Best of both worlds. <laughs> I would agree. A Disney cruise and seeing the orcas, that'd be fantastic. But yes, this is a little play suit from Hollister. I think I got it new before I came, so they should still have it, whoever was asking about it. So just come through the tunnel, approaching Las Vistas. We've got, oh, I might have lost, lost a bit of signal. Are we back? Lose signal through the tunnel. We've got chill out here. We did come here for, are we back? Are we back on? No way I would have swim with them. One killed a trainer in Florida a few years ago. Yeah, they're the captive ones, Dad. I'd swim with wild ones in a heartbeat. I hope we're back. Back now. Thanks, Thelma. Thanks for letting us know. So, yeah, that was chill out just there. We did have a lovely meal and chill out too. Lost a bit of signal coming through the tunnel. I do apologise. So now we've got last Vistas. This is where Dean and I chose to come and sit yesterday. This, uh, Morning Garvey, good journey home, Cat and Dean, thank you. All the best for tomorrow, Dean. Knock it out of the park. Great to see my happy place, my second home. Thank you. I, I can understand why Andrew enjoys doing these live streams where he walks along and he gets to chat with people that love Tenerife, provide a bit of escapism for people. I do understand why he loves doing it. And I can definitely see why he says it's a hobby, it's not a not a job or anything because it's just it is nice to just come and walk along here i don't know what that Dad, dad's talking about conspiracy theories and all kinds here <laughs> oh the swimming suits in the water park ah right that swimming costume was from oh paul moi i think pretty sure and i'm pretty sure it's quite old but i'm pretty sure they do still do it but the print at the top might be a little bit different but it's very similar um it's one of my favorites that one i always wear a swimming costume to Zion park just because you know some of those rides are rough <laughs> i don't want anything riding up or riding down <laughs> no one needs to see that uh so yeah it's one of my favorites that one it looks really nice with the uh, a pair of shorts as well just you know if you just go in the beach and just put your shorts over it because it kind of looks a bit like a top but yeah pretty 99.9% .9 sure it's poor moi and i'm pretty sure they still have one very similar i hope that helps wow 116 people tuned in thank you so much what's everyone doing with this saturday afternoon and what is the weather like at home can someone let us know what are we coming back to? Because uh, it's quite nice tomorrow morning, tomorrow in Liverpool. We're not excited about it, are we, Dean? Vinny claims sweep 
has no legs conspiracy theory oh i've seen he has got legs i've seen them <laughs> raining in liverpool thanks susan just what i wanted to hear it's gray nice day today a bit ch right i'm hearing very conflicting stories here someone said it's raining someone said it's gray and dad's saying it's sunny which is the conspiracy theory with this one honest to god just stopped raining on the Wirral. Nice and sunny in Scotland, but do you know what? I don't mind the cold as long as the sun's out. I just love the, the sun being out. Raining a little. Have a safe flight back tomorrow and all the best for Dean tomorrow. What you up for the rest of the day? At a bar at London Bridge watching FA Cup game. Yeah. The weather's okay here. That sounds nice by London Bridge. Whereabouts are you? Because uh, we need some recommendations of nice places to go for April when he runs his London Marathon. So tomorrow's the Liverpool half. April is the London full marathon. So uh, it's all go, go, go for Dean. All go, go, go. I might try and head down and film him finishing. But I wouldn't be able to live stream it because they'll have all music, you know, to get everybody pumped. Um, your signal quality is very good, Kat. Thank you. This is what frustrates Andrew, is I'm here using my EE SIM card with a oh, data area. roaming pass. Hello! Thank you very much. We've got Anne and David. Thank you. What are you up to today? Oh, it's great meeting you today. And you're going to have a quiet day today? Yes. Wait, you're going to try and get some food, I think, up or towards Golden Mile and then head, yeah, head for our flight. No. Head, head for our going flight. Going We're all packed. We are. We're all packed. Yeah, thanks to Steve. We're going home, isn't it? So. Yeah, no, of course. Well, well, this is the best one. Yeah. We will sponsor it, of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So, what have you got planned for today? A rugby. We're going to see the match. Oh, yeah, the match. Ah. And then we probably will go into the carnival on last Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were having a party there last night. It was, the music was going till like 3 a.m. Oh yeah. God. Honestly, they were having a right party. So yeah. it should be a good atmosphere. Did you get up to anything good since we saw you? Uh, well, yesterday where we went up to Casa de... Well, no, we went up to... Um, Calypso Bar, we saw Calypso Shelley. Calypso Bar. So. Right. To watch Shelley. Oh. And then we went up um, to see Tim up north right then, and then we're on monday we're meeting the persons they're coming back ah down. So nice coming down. it's been um it has been a, what you'd call a relaxing sun holiday <laughs> we're lying back and enjoying Things the air in our diary and our next yeah, yeah so social butterflies yeah 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 same paddy's day you picked a better week to come than we did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, next time, hopefully, when you're over, we'll meet up again. Yeah, hopefully. And we'll see, we're going to Buddies, of course. Yeah. We're going back to see um, Andrew and Laura. Yeah. And we may pop in there tomorrow. We don't know. <laughs> For Paddy's day, we <laughs> two cocktails, the, the flags one, but there's the other one, the leprechaun. Yeah, yeah. She's, well. she's done some uh, Irish themed cocktails, so. I have to check my travel insurance. <laughs> and and yes, <laughs> right, well, we better crack on because we are meeting Andrew, but thank, nice to see you. We'll see you later. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bye. Oh, it's nice to bump into Anne and David again before we head home. They came to our to see us when we did our live stream from buddies they've always been big supporters of the channel so it is lovely to see them a friend of mine with one leg had landed a top job at a brewery he had been put in charge of hops oh for god's sake dad is he google these he, I, he, I bet you he's got a website saved in his bookmarks called top dad jokes good to see david and Anne there as famous as Garvey being on all the bloggers' channels. <laughs> They're proper social butterflies, Anna David. Don't know how they keep up with us all, honestly. Go to St. Catherine's Dock by Tower Bridge is amazing with shops, bars and restaurants. Pay it a visit. Is that a recommendation from London? We really appreciate that. Thank you, Leslie. Um, I think we're there for a little bit longer this time. Yeah, we're going like Friday morning. We booked so. a little bit of time off 
work last time we just went friday after work and we're back sunday before work but um we've booked a little bit more time so that it's not quite so rushed for dean obviously it, we can't run around mad because dean has to save his legs for the marathon so uh yeah we have saved a little bit of time guys i didn't know the st patrick's was scottish and that his name wasn't patrick but a weird scottish name oh i didn't know that either I thought St. Patrick's Day was about St. Patrick. So I'll turn you around again, show you the last few Stas Beach. Hope you get a window in your room this time. Oh, do you know? <laughs> we are staying in the exact same hotel this time just because it's so close to the finish line, just so handy. But we have on the booking just asked, is it possible to please get a room with a window? Hopefully, hopefully we've, uh, managed to sort that this time was a little bit claustrophobic but for ease with dean finishing he could barely walk last year so i'm not checking him halfway across london just so i can get a room with a window and you know help me out it's just easy for him to be right by the finish job done um let's have a little look what people have been saying such a dad joke <laughs> um friend of mine oh we read that one out think cloud in midlands trying to rain says 10 degrees and light rain is sunk in runcorn um cold dublin oh i don't know the weather doesn't sound great anyway dean what we're going back to the right mixture yeah. uh, where are you meeting andrew i think golden mile now see i kind of trampled his plans a little bit dean and i said we wanted to walk to golden mile First and foremost, so I could get my steps in for today before I'm on a plane. And secondly, because, come on, it's our last opportunity and the weather's like this. So I thought, right, I'll live stream it. I rang him just to check that he was good with that and where he was going to meet us and did he want to walk with us and everything. And he was busy. <laughs> Ten minutes later after I schedule it, he voice notes me. I'll leave you a car. You meet me in Las Americas. I'm going to do a live stream from Lost Crystal, Las Americas. <laughs> So I rang him and I said, I've just scheduled the exact same live stream. So what, what do you want? Do you want to do it or do I want to do it? He was like, oh, no, it's fine. I can do it anytime. You go ahead. But uh, sorry, guys, you could have had Andrew, but you got the booby prize, which is me. <laughs> but yeah, Dean and I wanted to enjoy this walk anyway. So Andrew's driving a car to uh, the underground, I think, on the Golden Mile. And we're going to meet him there. Now, Dean, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go through Vista Sur or hug the sea? Should we ask the... Uh, what time is it, actually? It's 20 past one. Oh, we've got time. We've got time. Would Dean do the Ironman? No, and I'll tell you why. He doesn't like swimming. He doesn't like swimming. He could do... What are they called when it's just... the t Triathlon is three activities. What's it called when it's just running and biking? A duathlon. Yeah, but I don't know if a duathlon is running and swimming. Or I'm not sure which way round it is, but he, he's not a strong swimmer, unfortunately. We've tried teaching him. My mum made good, good headway with teaching him. Mum says, stay on beachfront. You're definitely not the booby prize. Love watching you and Dean. Thank you so much, Eunice. That is really lovely. That is, does mean a lot. Yeah, it'd be nice. Does mean nice a lot. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, those, uh, Andrew, Dean's saying that those, anyone know what they're called? Andrew would know, straight off. These apartments up here with the balconies looking right over to the cliffs of Lost Chris, right over Las Vistas Beach. Don't go in the sea, fish may attack your feet, lol. <laughs> Never too old for swimming lessons. I've offered to pay for his swimming lessons. Uh, mum has given him obviously free swimming lessons mum, mum made the best headway with him I think I've not really got the patience to teach him I'm just like no Dean you're not doing it right <laughs> mum did make good headway I think in Florida she was teaching him wasn't she you taught me a bit in Mexico I did I, I taught him some swimming in Mexico but uh, whether he'll ever be a confident swimmer to swim in open water like you do on an Ironman I'm not too sure not too sure he can definitely we've made him safe in the water 
he can tread water and keep his head above water i think everyone should be able to do that um and if you know if you can't do that i think it's important that you do learn you can avoid water all you want but things happen so we've de we've made him safe in the water he can tread water and prevent himself from drowning but uh he can't quite s swim so he can't quickly and strongly and confidently if that makes sense so uh speaking of swimming it is a uh green flag day today there's a yellow one down there is there yeah whereabouts the green umbrella is on the beach just above it oh yes so this is interesting this side of the beach here has got a green flag i don't know whether you guys can see it but over here down there is a yellow so that does show that there can be rip currents and rip tides and things that you can't see in different sections of the beach so please do pay attention just because it's green by where you're sunbathing if you go for a little walk and go oh yeah i'll have a little dip it might be yellow further round they did that at del duque the other day it was red on one end and yellow on the other so it was an absolute no swim by the cliffs where the mansion is at del duque but towards the other end it was a swim with caution flag so do bear it in mind just pay close attention andrew does sadly hear of drownings every year in tenerife it's we are an island in the atlantic it, we are it is an island in the atlantic ocean the sea can get quite rough and there can be rip currents that you're not aware of so just be careful heed the warning of the flags and pay attention but down this end you can see lots of people are in the water here doing like a little cove the water is crystal clear it looks stunning absolutely stunning absolutely stunning let's see you need to learn to float on your back at the very least sea scares me see please i, I can understand the sea being scary for people i totally get it um I do get it. It's fear of the unknown, isn't it, really? What can be underneath? Personally, I don't have that fear. I absolutely love scuba diving, things like that. Lo a proper water baby. Love being in the water. But uh, if you're not exposed to it when you're young, I think it can sometimes, as an adult, you know when you overthink things? Like, if you take a, a child, a toddler on an aeroplane, they don't even think about it. But if they don't get the chance to go on a plane until they're older... I think I, if I, you told me as a teenager, you're gonna get on a big metal bird that weighs a ton and fly. This is where I've seen the cheapest pint, by the way. Okay, so one there's a one euro, euro pint here in the Aberdeen Steakhouse. This one here, just until past 6, Las Vistas. 6 PM. So it's one euro until 6 pm. There you go, we found one, one euro pint. Yeah, it's 150. Yeah, and then just up, it's 150. That's <laughs> we know you from Andrew's channel. I'm Andrew's sister. My name is Younger Denzel Washington. I want to say the people, come and see me. Younger Denzel Washington here, four guys, walking hot. Come and see Denzel. <laughs> no, he's my brother. <laughs> Same glasses. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And you? Working hard, well, working hard. <laughs> well, we're home today, Thank back in work home. Monday. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. It's funny, he saw us with Andrew yesterday, so uh, I think he recognised us from that. Andrew named him Denzel Washington. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Pat, Pat who? Pat on your coat and let's go a walk. What? Dad, they're not even making sense. Honestly. Are you sure he's out of bed? Is he just lying <laughs> in bed half asleep? <laughs> Dean's not convinced you're even up and awake, Dad, with these jokes. Honest to God. Don't quit your day job. It's an Irish joke. Oh, Mick, that was poor. See, everyone. Mum doesn't get it either. 
honestly honestly do you know what everyone here thinks it's funny because you only get exposed to it when you're watching andrew's videos or commenting on his live streams i have to live with this honestly my wife asked me to stop singing wonderwall i said maybe <laughs> That's funny because we've been talking the other day about, um, you know, bars with the karaoke and things. And I said, I just don't want to listen to another person singing Wonderwall or Angels. <laughs> and then last night, um, I think the owner of the attic said, oh, yeah, or another good karaoke one or popular karaoke one is uh, 500 Miles. I would walk 500 miles and he's right that one that one is a common one here we go here we go we're up to El Camason how far have we walked so my little watch is counting it 2.49 kilometers we're on so far guys 2.49 kilometers of absolute sunshine paradise palm trees Scouse is on Lydia, looking and smelling good. Enough for Catherine and Dean. Oh, there you go, Dean, we're going home to a pot of Scouse. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, so this is El Camason. Dean and I really wanted to come to this beach yesterday because the sunbeds look a little bit comfier than um, on Las Vistas. You can adjust the back a bit more. And... Uh, just it's a bit smaller but i don't know we just fancied it we got here a quarter to ten and so many people had reserved a bed but weren't actually on it they were you know they put a towel on one bed and a flip-flop on the other nowhere to be seen most of the beds were reserved with no one on them and we saw a full-blown argument that bed was reserved for my friend now get off it honestly i mentioned it in andrew's live stream just the, the sunbed wars, just, I don't get it. Just, if you want a sunbed, go and get one. Um, Irish Scouse tomorrow, since your dad is making it. <laughs> what Someone must have asked what Scouse is, and mum's saying it's a um, Liverpool stew. It comes from the term lob Scouse, doesn't it? To do with the sailors or something yeah, coming into Liverpool. Like that, yeah. So we come up to where uh, Med Palace is on the right, getting its renovation. Just up here. I think Andrew did show it yesterday. Uh, that'll be lo it'll be lovely when it's done. Yeah. Absolutely lovely when it's done. And then you've got the Cleopatra here. Dean said he would like to stay in that one as well with a little balcony with a beach view. But Andrew said you pay over the odds for a beach view in the Cleopatra. Uh, you would love it, basically a Liverpool stew. I've had requests to do a vlog on how to, to show how to do it. <laughs> oh God, cooking with Garvey. Imagine that, absolutely not. So down here we have got a um, green flag. El Camason is a green flag all the way along. So I think it does kind of depend on the position and the exposure of the beach itself as well as to what kind of flag they generally get. Del Duque often gets a no swimming flag. I think it must be quite an exposed little cove um, that's exposed to some strong currents and you get big waves at Del Duque. 151 people tuned in. Please do hit the thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Cooking with Garvey, I like that cat. No, Dad, honestly. People would tune out simply because they'd be sick of the bing from the microwave or the air fryer. <laughs> Why do couples go to the gym? Because they want their relationships to work out. Oh, very good. <laughs> I'd like to see that Garvey compare to the Irish stew. Right, well, I'll leave Andrew to uh, organise that one. <laughs> Scouse with Garvey. Honest to goodness, I'll let Andrew. Or um, maybe we'll set him up with a TikTok like he wants and he can put it on there. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to you. 
Less editing involved in TikTok, isn't there? Uh, well, you're not quite on golden, golden at the bottom of Golden Mile on that one. What time are we on? Just gone half one. Half one. I am enjoying being by the seaside. I do like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> no, oh, Dad. Sooty, can we just keep sooty and sweep away until you're here, please? I'm going to hide them on him so we can't bring them over. <laughs> Honestly. Honest to goodness. How long have we been together? Ten years this year. Ten whole years this year. I had family that left towels on five sunset, sunbeds. They didn't come back for hours. I removed, I removed towels off two of the beds so I could use them. Then when they came back, they had a go. Honestly, just, Andrew said to me, you should have just removed the towels, gone over to the sunbed attendant, paid for the sunbeds. And when someone comes back, you just say, sorry, I've paid to rent the beds. If, I don't agree with just putting a towel. Some of them weren't even on, they'd just collapsed the back of the bed onto itself. Like the, some of them have done it down there now, I can see it. And plonked a towel hanging off the umbrella just marking the territory but they don't have any intention to use it until after they've had their full english i just it's not fair it's just not fair and i think there's some bed attendants they should be on it but obviously as long as someone rents them they're not really bothered so it's a tough one but i just i just can't get on board with the, the some bed wars myself I hear Garvey is going to start an Everton podcast. He's calling it. I guess that's why they call them the Blues. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. Imagine Mick Garvey with an Everton podcast. The swearing. The swearing that would go on with it. 157 people tuned in to watch the waves coming in coming around to las americas now it's a good surfing day isn't it dean wow wow i wish i could zoom in a bit better than i can he is kind of paddle boarding i think he's got a paddle i think these people will be going out for lessons i'd love to learn how to surf but i just would be no good I would be no good. It's one water sport, I have to say, I've never, Probably never tried. On that machine, didn't we? Oh, the flow rider. Yeah, that was awful. I'd beg to differ that that's not true surfing. I think that's a sport in itself, the flow rider. That's a sport in its own right. The tricks that some people can do on that, and I do think they do must have like competitions and things like that on flow riders. But I think real surfing out on the ocean is a completely different kettle of fish it has gone a bit blowy around here i do apologize if there's a bit of wind noise I don't have any microphones so unfortunately there's not too much i can do about it look at that so this morning it was so clear that not only could you see gamera you can see gamera most days but we've had a couple of days where we couldn't not only could you see it but you could see the contours of the mountains and things on it it was that crystal clear this morning. It's gone a little bit hazier in the heat. What time are you meeting Andrew? I think around quarter to one. What time is it, Dean? Quarter to two. Quarter to two. Yeah, it's 25 to two. 25 to two. So we need to cut up and head along Golden Mile. I think we're planning on eating at two. So we'll be meeting him somewhere around quarter to one and quarter to two and two. Knock, knock, who's there? Irish, Irish, who? Irish, you, in the name of the law. Irish, you. I don't, I, Dad, just give up, will ya? Honestly. Honest to just God. Pasting, Whatever website you get in them off is no good. Try a different one. <laughs> What's everyone's plans for Paddy's Day? Dean and I are missing it over here, obviously. So we won't be having any Irish shots or cocktails in buddies, unfortunately. Um, 
Yeah, what, what does everyone make a big thing of it? Huh? Oh yeah, it is crystal clear up to 80. I'll show when we turn around I'll show the camera. Clear as a bell up to 80, you know, where it should have been stood the other day. Has anyone missed that story? Because I've made unfortunately I've made promises in previous live streams, the vlogs all week, travel vlogger mentioned it, that I was meant to be hiking to the peak, the very peak of Tady. Had a permit, your permit is for a specific date and time, you have to get it months in advance. I set off to the, get to the lower cable car station, so I was going to cable car to the upper station and then do the hours, hours hike to the crater. Oh, and on the motorway, just hear a nice little pop on one of the back tyres. Didn't think too much of it, thought I'd run over a water bottle or something. Didn't think much. Two minutes later, loss of pressure in your rear left tyre. I thought, oh God. Pulled over as soon as it was safe. Flat. Completely flat. Andrew had to send me a grower or a tow truck, whatever you want to call it. No hike. So that also does mean no vlog of said hike. So I am very sorry. Um, a lot of people, when I mentioned it in the last live, were really excited about it. So I apologize. One day, one day I'll get up there. In 2021, or 20, uh, yeah, 2022, we booked our flight to last minute for me to have any availability of a permit. I checked, they were all gone. 2023, me, Andrew and Laura all had permits and it snowed up to 80 and the trail was closed and the cable car was closed. <laughs> 2024, it was just me with the permit and I get a flat tire on the way. Like I said, it's for a specific date and time. So it's not like I could have just tried again yesterday or it's very specific. They only let a certain number of people in. <laughs> so maybe it's fourth time lucky with that one fourth time lucky I bet it was only flat on the bottom <laughs> Paddy's day is a waste of money like Easter lol well I, th I believe in Ireland they get a full blank holiday weekend and I think Easter's yeah, I, I do like the Easter the Easter weekend in that you get Friday Saturday Sunday Monday but I do generally tend to pick up shifts on the Friday and the Monday because double time and a day back for me if I pick them up so uh, I do tend to try and work them Dean always works Easter Monday anyway no matter what don't you so um, I'll either pick up both which I did last year or I'll work at least one of them I think if I can if they need me just for the money um, then it means I can take that day back another time to use on a holiday somewhere like you know trip to Tenerife or something something nice like that oh yes everyone in school was in green yesterday celebrating tomorrow off school on Monday lovely so the Irish do it proper full bank holiday weekend lovely lovely three-day hangover <laughs> what do you both do for a job I'm a veterinary nurse in a mixed practice hospital so we do first opinion and referral um, I'm specifically, I'm a theatre nurse. I enjoy being in theatre, monitoring the anaesthetics. Uh, and Dean is in the catering department yeah. of John Lewis, aren't you? Recently got a promotion, like a FCC now, which is a food coordinator coach. There we go. I don't know what it is either. It's kind of like Chandler Bing's job, you know, where no one really knows what he does. I know he goes into John Lewis and he sorts the food. But if you asked me what an FCC was before I met Dean, I'd have had no clue. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to turn yeah. right, head up Golden Mile. Are you and Andrew twins? You tell me. <laughs> Are we twins? Oh, I promised I'd show Tady. Hang on. Let's show you Tady. Standing tall and pretty up there. There she is. Absolutely stunning. And clear as a bell. Today would be your day to get up that cable car. Be, probably be able to see most of the other Canary Islands up there. 
absolutely gorgeous. The camera doesn't do it justice because as soon as you zoom, you uh, you lose some quality. Everyone's saying well done on your promotion, Dean. I just sold my Sooty Sweep and Sue special edition puppets for a great price. They were delighted to take them off my hands. <laughs> See, Dad, now that's the kind of joke you should be telling. Gosh. I don't know, is Andrew's favourite shop? Is he in there? Can you see him? Ali Hop. You can't get him out of there most nights. Can't get him out. You look young than Andrew. Thanks, Eunice. Yes, are, are Andrew and I twins? I, I can't see the resemblance that much, really. So a couple of people have come up to us. Um, Oh, well, come up to Andrew and said, is that your sister? And he's, yeah. And they're like, oh, I can't half tell. I don't see it. People tell me I look like Mick Garvey as well. That one I'm more offended at. <laughs> uh, people tell me I look like my mum. So, which one is it, really? Which one is it? But we're not twins. There's four years between us, believe it or not, and I am the elder of the two of us. Middle child of the three of us. Yes, he's my annoying little brother. <laughs> Who I love dearly. I do love him dearly. But uh, he knows how to grate my gears, I tell you that much. He does know how to grate my gears. Yesterday he was trying to tell me. This was one of, but this is the type of thing Andrew finds funny. He was trying to convince me yesterday that the apartment below us in Royal Palm had complained that Dean and I stomp. And I was like, what? Oh. And he was like, ask dad, honestly. Dad told me this morning. And he kept it going and I'm doubting myself. And I'm going, I've spoke to dad this morning. Dad would have told me. And also the management would have told us, you know, stop stamping the apartment blows, getting annoyed at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, ages he had me wound up with that one, ages. He wouldn't drop it. I was like, you're lying. He was like, I'm not. Ask dad. <laughs> Just typical brother, sister. Annoying he is. Oh, there's an even better view of Tady over there. Mick Garvey, can you confirm whether that was true or not? Apparently you told him they'd complained. Look at that. She's just gorgeous. I've got to say, I think she's my favorite mountain in the world that I've ever seen. Just gorgeous. Hello from Wales, love your videos. Kat, you're more like Lydia, but that's because you're both beautiful. That's really nice, Paul, thank you very much. Thank you, I would, I would do hope I take more after my mum than my dad, just more because my mum's got some feminine features. <laughs> Unlike my dad. <laughs> now, I wonder where Andrew is. I did expect him to maybe comment in the chat and let us know where he was. He was gonna crack on with some work, seeing as he wasn't live streaming. Just gonna crack on with other things. But uh, we'll play that game again first to spot Andrew gets a Euro. <laughs> oh, what a gorgeous walk that's been. How far? 3.6 kilometers on the clock of the watch. Of course, at a lovely leisurely pace, no rushing. Manana, all the time in the world in Tenerife. Spin it round, so we're on Golden Mile now. My favourite street on this island. Saturday afternoon, not too busy, everyone's at the beach. Everyone's at the beach. Have a look in Starbucks, lol. We, we, we didn't quite walk to Starbucks, did we? No, it's Didn't quite get as far as Starbucks. But he knows we're meeting round here, so I trust him, he'll be here. He'll be here. Uh, what is everyone else saying? I'm one of triplets, but my bro sis have been told I look older. Oh, that's not very nice. That's, I, well, I don't think that's true. I don't think you'll look older than them. So Andrew took us down into this shopping center yesterday because he was wanted to pick up his um, new microphones which I think he'll probably do today instead. It was closed. I haven't been in there for years. And it was a nice little shopping center. Cool, out with the heat. Go easy, Paul. 
your compliments will go to their head. Uh, right, Dad, excuse me. How much does Andrew's striders inflate your ego, making you think that you're funny enough to tell these jokes? A. Eh? <laughs> 174 people tuned in. Wow, we never expect any kind of number like that on our little channel. If you have are new and you're watching us for the first time, please do consider subscribing. Uh, we've got vlogs coming from our trip. We've filmed our travel day as a separate vlog. We've filmed sort of a travel vlog of the whole two weeks, highlights, places we've eaten, things we've done. Uh, we filmed a separate vlog for Siam Park, a separate blog, vlog for the hotel up Tady, um, and seeing the stars at night. So, plenty to come on the channel. We have still got a Florida series that needs to finish going up. We've currently only got the travel day up on there. So, if you are new, please do consider subscribing to us. We really would appreciate the support. Please hit the thumbs up guys and do subscribe. Thanks dad. I can't guarantee that I'll be doing live streams like this from Tenerife as often as Andrew does. Uh, but we do do, anytime we travel, we take the camera with us, don't we? Yeah. Um, we do love filming our holidays. We do, the thing we've enjoyed the most is being able to see our own trips back. Um, and little days out that we've done with my nephew, watching that back with my nephew and my sister. So that's the main reason that we do it. But if people enjoy watching at the same time, then that's just music to our ears, really. Anyone's welcome to come and join in with the adventure. Was just going to ask you about the Florida ones. They're on the way. The second one is very nearly finished editing. Uh, I'll get that up ASAP um, and I'll probably run them in conjunction with the Tenerife ones. Haven't done daily vlogs from Tenerife. Do you want to walk up to Hard Rock and then cross? Might be a bit easier. Uh, haven't done daily vlogs of Tenerife just because it's been a chilled one. But any highlights I have filmed and I'll just sort of do like a compilation of the whole two weeks into one big vlog. Got these fountains here. Tell you what, I could go and sit in them right now after this walk. It's roasty toasty, let me tell you. Roasty toasty. Someone saying, love the live vlogs. I love a travel day vlog. You can't beat a travel day vlog. I absolutely love watching. Why do we love watching other people go on holiday? I don't get it, but I get it at the same time. Like, I also love watching that, but I don't know why. Does it not just make us jealous? I just... It's, it's contagious, the, va the, like, the feeling, the holiday feeling. It's contagious. Um, I have the heating on ready, Alan. It's switched to off. <laughs> um, let's boost the algorithm, wherever that is. Uh, love the live vlogs. Thank you so much. I would do more lives because I do enjoy doing them. So we've got uh, Safari Center over here with the fountains switched off. Uh, what do you fancy doing there? I do think we're meeting him at the Safari Centre. So, do you want to text him, see where he is? We'll text him. Will we do a travel home vlog? Now, well, what do you guys think? Should we do a separate vlog of travelling home? Or should we tie it in with the, the big vlog of everything we did this two weeks? Uh, it's good to see how other people do their own travel days compared to your own love them that is very true and you do pick up good hints and tips um i do like seeing other people's little traditions everyone's got their routine everyone knows where they like to eat what they like to take on the plane with them but you do pick up hints and tips my big one that i've picked up from a travel vlog is taking those sheet face masks with you on a long haul flight because they always dry your skin out the aircon on the plane you take one of those moisturizing sheet masks source the problem and it's like having a little pamper netflix and chill day and yeah people might look at you a bit funny but so what <laughs> so that was something i picked up from a travel vlog and i've started doing myself religiously if i'm on long call anything to florida or california when we did them took a sheet mask with me a hydrating one and it was recommend it 10 10 fully recommend 
tell us where you're watching from hi i'm watching from rainy northern ireland thanks eugene thanks for watching from ireland what are your plans for paddy's day if you're in ireland eugene hope you're doing a travel vlog home take some happy pills to make you look happy are you saying that i look miserable or that i will be miserable on the way home have you texted him yeah, <laughs> just standing outside horror we could nip up what time is it Okay, so we've not really got time to nip in for a drink somewhere. So what I might do, guys... See, I was going to hold on so that you could at least see Andrew and say hello to him. But uh, I might have to round it off. Uh, sunny here in Lost Chris. Um, yeah, so I don't know. What, should we film a separate travel home day? Travel home day is never as exciting as travel day. But I, I would definitely need to film some bits and stick it on the end of the big vlog. If that's what everyone wants to see, I'll do it separate though. I will do it separately. 188 people tuned in. Should we keep mooching and then cross and walk back or what do you reckon? I've got a, not had a reply yet. So. Not had a reply. Well, we'll mooch, we'll mooch over to the fountains anyway. They're not actually on, unfortunately. Looks like we've got a hen do out for their... Uh, a posh lunch though. She looks lovely, the girl with the white the white dress and the bow in her hair. It's not a... I hope she's having a lovely hen do with her friends. Happy memories of bringing my friends out here when we were younger. Not on a hen do, but um, just coming out for a girly holiday. Happy, happy memories of doing that. Going out to Veronica's. Not every night, but a couple of the nights. We were never... Uh, in amongst it every night but uh, we did do a few i'm curious about departures at south airport like to be prepared okay well i'll definitely whether it ends up being separate i don't know but i will definitely film the departures we're flying easyjet whether that makes a difference as to what ends because i know they've extended tenerife south there we are you've got your fountains here not currently on You've got Stradivarius, lovely shops around here, and then you have got lovely restaurants. You've got Empire, which is, I think, what Andrew was thinking for lunch because it opens at half one. You've got Empire, uh, Harry's Bar, which has been there for years, years and years and years. You look this way, got lovely Hard Rock there. Hard Rock doesn't look open, actually, does it? Don't think it's open. Even the rooftop bar. Oh, I could just dunk in there could just I tell you I am hot after walking all that way four kilometers four kilometers it was from Los Chris by Muccolino's right at the front to uh, here in the Golden Mile going via the beachfront and then up can make it a bit shorter of course but uh, we enjoyed being on the beach so what I think I will do is I think I will uh, round it off because we're Struggling to get in touch with Andrew. Any any message? No. So what I might do is I might jump off and go. If Andrew does want to eat in uh, Empire, then uh, I'll head up, sort out a table, and you can just meet us there. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support whilst we've been over in Tenerife. Thank you for sponsoring Dean or sending words of encouragement for him. They've all been seen. I've seen all your comments. I am going to reply to them just whilst I'm on holiday. I've not really been um, sat on my phone too much. Uh, as much as possible, I've been off, you know, living in the moment. But as soon as I'm home, I'm going to reply to the comments. Dean does really appreciate all of your support. If you do want to support him in the marathon and his half marathon tomorrow, it's both the same, same fundraiser. The link is in the description. It's for cats protection, specifically the St. Helens branch is the one he's supporting. So any sponsorships would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. You're going to say bye, Dean? Yeah, see you later. See you back in England. We'll end it here. We will see you back in the UK. Uh, vlogs will be going up, travel day, all kinds to come. We hope you enjoy them. Thanks for supporting us. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.